everyone and welcome back to the Botanist Garden Club. I'm Wendy. And I'm Elka. And boy oh boy have we got some fun for you today. Actually, I don't even know what we're doing today. <laughs> <laughs> She's in the dark. That's right. Elka, the floristic genius that she is, is going to help me or we're going to do it together. We're going to create something fabulous, something magical. Something I magical. do have a bit of a hint. I can see one or two of the beautiful portrait nature portraits we have behind us here. Mm -hmm. So I'm hopeful that's what we're working on today. Exactly, that's what it is, a nature portrait. Uh, what actually happened is I had a few different kinds of things uh, available to me, like a little board or a little trays that we used mm. before in, in yes. our shows. Uh, or this is a little, uh, actually an older style of a lap tray you know, oh, when you want to yes, eat yes. Uh, while you watch TV or something you know they're sitting around and that's just not used for that anymore and I yeah. thought what can we do we can obviously paint or something on it or we use them so now I thought like, why don't we just use natural material like moss uh, some dried flowers and stuff and make a nice portrait. natural portrait out of I it. I like yes, that exactly. so we can use anything that we have either dried or real that came from nature and maybe even some that didn't come from nature. Exactly. Oh, we, we actually, the idea is to make two different styles today. One is more like the everyday kind of nature version right. and oh. the other one has a little bit more a Christmas oh, twist. Oh, a Christmas theme. Yes, oh, I exactly. Like that. So Good. you, okay. I leave it up to you. I have a square oh, picture, gosh. I have a long one uh, and you can also decide, first of all, the shape you want and if you want to have more Christmas oh my gosh, point. the decision, the decision. <gasps> I'll take the square one square and only one? because I think that it's a little bit smaller. I think you might be able to complete Whip that out here. Okay. quicker than me. So this stuff here is only here to show you what we need today to do our picture. Obviously some kind of a board. It doesn't even have to have a frame. You can use just an end piece oh. of a one by six uh, of a board from, from your uh, garden center or from, right. from your home depots and places like or that. stuff you have lying around even maybe. Any, any back background, an old uh, wooden tray or something. Yeah. Uh, these ones with the frame so we can actually use them afterwards too. I just used some nails around it. Just pounded, them put them, pounded them in, leave them up a little bit so we can put some wire around. So okay, we need good. nails, we need a hammer. Okay. We always already did that, so we can take that off. I'm just going to get we out need of the some, for a second. <laughs> we need some clippers, uh, the wire, any florist wire. You can even go very creative in in the oh, sense I of like wool oh, of twine. I've got jute at home as well. Jute That's kind well. of natural. Yeah, that's, that's the, the the difference is either you you use a wire that kind of disappears in the picture, mm. you don't see it at all. Oh yeah. Or you say no, I do want to see it because Featured. it makes it a little bit more. Yeah. modern maybe even right so any okay. color twine uh, and then That's I have great. just a collection of different mosses you, you can get them at craft stores maybe you have some in your garden hanging on a tree or something <laughs> usually they're very dry uh, we have some oh, nice lavender, lavender. and we sell lavender in the springtime so you could always buy some exactly. next year and yeah, perfect grow yeah. it for your own um, hydrangeas oh, and, and then I have berries. a whole collection of uh, just Christmas things. So I'm going to oh. leave that on the side here a little bit okay. until uh, we get to that point uh, so you can actually see better what we're doing. So let's start. We need a wire, each of us. Okay, oh, that's mine. Oh. That's yours. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't take it. Oh, you. <laughs> so just take a wire. Um, you start with the uh, nails and it's really, it, there's no rule. I didn't have, uh, space them in a certain way. Oh, okay. It's just like I start usually with the corners. Okay, then I do sense. half on each side and on a, on a long side like that, I just put one in between. Okay, so I'm just wrapping it so it yeah, won't you start away from me. You started either, let's just start in the corner, doesn't really matter. Okay. So you just, so you, you turn it around, wiggle it around, and then you just go in a grid, and then, you know, not just in a zigzag, you just go all over the place. I give it a little bit of a, of a, what's it called, a tension, tension, tension yes, yeah. Like that word, go tension. once around the nail, and then just go in a zigzag all around them. And really no pattern or... Okay, just basically what we're doing is pulling the wire across here so that it will hold down whatever part of nature we like we decide to slip in there. Exactly. Okay. Because because the idea of this this uh, art piece is we're going to fill everything underneath the wire with moss. Oh, okay. And then we put we we put, put the, the beauteous objects in the little there objects yeah. in between. Okay. Should you do like more than once or twice around the same nails? You can, yeah. Okay. Because what you do is you kind of look at the pattern that you have. If if there's huge holes, well, and it's you not. You know, you you, you just want to create little little uh, pieces where Oops. you can say, um, <laughs> "I need something." I knocked underneath. the nail out. Oh, you knocked the nail out. The, the tension was a bit too great for you it. You can either Couldn't knock it. it back. I can in. just knock it back with this. I think. Exactly. There we go. 
So, necessity is the mother of invention, they say. <laughs> okay, there you go. I, I think I'm good. So I'll cut that off. It looks actually kind of pretty the way it is, right? I can imagine this with some sort of bronze uh, wire. Yeah, copper wire. Or, you know, look at garage sales and stuff oh, like that. Oh, that's a, a great of, idea. There's lots of fur when you get <laughs> and tools silver. And silver. You know, there's always silver, silver. glitzy, yeah, whatever yeah. it is. Huh? So, I'm going to start with my moss if, uh, until you're done. Wise Any choice that I took the smaller one. <laughs> you just go. So, uh. see, moss is actually an interesting product because right now, this moss is from last year. I kept it, um, I dried it, and mm -hmm. then put it into, um, into a cardboard box. When you take moss, and you can either put it in your sink and just put it uh, in wa warm water. It just gets soft and, oh, and gets the idea. smell yeah. better. Or just a bottle like this. And just see them gets just nice and soft and then you just put it and push it underneath the wire i'm gonna maybe try this a little bit so we can see it a little bit better that's a good idea so and i literally fill the whole board okay. as a background with moss and this is something i think it's so easy you can do it with kids they can just stuff it all underneath oh, they could. because you fix it with all the, the little stuff that you put underneath like the decorative things you know i just got an idea too you could probably actually even stuff uh like that white stuff that looks like snow underneath it for the kids wouldn't that be fun and white then they stuff could, that looks like snow yeah you know like almost like cotton batten oh okay yes and yeah so it looks like a snow uh playground in there you know it's all going to be stuck and it's not going to come off but yeah exactly you know then you go um for a hike or for a walk in a park or something you can make it a game you just say to the kids they should pick up things that they see and just give you some moss you. Here. Uh, things that they see and then we make a picture from our walk let's just right. do it and, and maybe remember where we found these things and what it was oh, it's like a story it's a, a storyboard yeah. a so-called <gasps> storyboard a portrait storyboard <laughs> the portrait of winter <laughs> <laughs> exactly so see it's, it's really it's just kind of a mount of uh, anything that you can find that well, I think gives you tension under the here. wire. Yeah. You can, yeah, it's a bit dry, so it's kind of just spray it Thank on. you. Well, you get one of these in your hand, just want to just spray it. <laughs> <laughs> I won't. I have, I have more. It's, it, you see, all the moss, sometimes when it's dry, it's really crispy, it's really crispy yeah. and it falls completely apart. Mm -hmm. Just it, it doesn't even have to be all nice. It just kind of pushes underneath. Stuff it uh, in. Yeah, and if, right. you use, uh, if you use that spray bottle, mm -hmm. see here, this one is almost crunchy. And yeah. when you rip it apart, it falls into a million pieces. Oh, does it? So I sprayed it and it's... it's oh, it's this. very malleable. It's, yeah, it's oh. completely soft. That's nice. So this one is just a mixture, so it gives you a little bit of a... Color texture and a yeah. nice little mm -hmm. shape and form here it's funny it feels like you're actually walking in the forest right now it smells so good doesn't it It does actually i wouldn't have thought that but it actually wet moss smells good in oh, it oh totally <laughs> the cool thing is you don't you don't even need um, a, a glue gun or anything you can use it yeah but for that stuff you just kind of lift the wire a little bit push it underneath Oops. Um, I, I forgot, did you say you want to do the Christmas thing? Or the I would like to do the Christmassy okay. one if that's okay. Okay, yeah. Be a little more glitzy. Yeah, little I know, a little, little glitzy there. girl. Well, I'm not a totally glitzy girl, but <laughs> you're right. <laughs> when it comes to Christmas, I do like it. But I need some more of that moss, please. This one? Please. Oh, yeah, that would be good. This one, Thank you. Take some. Oops. I should let people see what I'm doing. There's mine. Take this out of the way. So, see this one? Any, any branches? I actually have here some... Um, some berries and I often just leave them on the whole branch just stick them in and let the, the branch oh, kind of grow over the whole picture yeah that looks lovely you just at, at one point you have to decide uh, which way you want to hang the picture is it mm. this way is it that way because it will have a face you know I always call it a face so uh, I'm gonna work upside down right now so it's easier for you guys to oh, see. oh that's good so this is basically I mean they are we're calling them nature port, uh, portraits because you are going to hang them on the wall afterwards. Yeah. This one, I'll just attach one of those lovely uh, painting, you know, the little ones with the ridges on them. Just attach one of the back so I can oh, hang yeah, it up on yeah, the wall. Yeah, exactly. Or you put yeah. a hole in the back or... Yeah, you could just do many it. things. Oh, I saw, I coveted something that I saw Where's earlier. Where's the red one? The I red think, did it fall off the table, I perhaps? Huh, I could have sworn I saw red there earlier. Let me just Very find good. my, I found my glasses. <laughs> oh, you know what? It's right here. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> good, okay, so this you. one I would also make red. Okay, and then right. you just decorate. I would say I'm going to put um, 
a few little of the lavender, the lavender. pieces. Look how pretty that is. You just take a few of I the will, Christmas things. I will, thank you. And that is pretty much, really, this is pretty much it. So, because from here on, as soon as you have the base done and you have that tension underneath, mm -hmm. it's up to you, whatever how you much, find, you know. You want Maybe do. you have even an, an older kind of a dried flower bouquet that you just don't really like anymore. And you take it apart, make little bundles like this, and mm -hmm. then you just st stuck anything, stick anything in that is around. You can use silk flowers. Yeah, I'm going to oh, use a little bit of this. just would be very pretty in it. Yeah. Yeah. Oops make them small if funny it doesn't how, stick sorry yeah go it's ahead. funny how when you're working on there when you get that little bit of red in there i'm, I'm not sure if i love it in there but oh, what i, I like it. about oh do you okay yeah, good yeah. what i love about this though is it if i don't like it i and when i'm done i can just remove just take it out put exactly. more in yeah. see this one here for the hydrangea they are so dry that sometimes when you um when you use them in the wire oh. they break off so yes. i rather um give it a little bit of a glue that's a good idea, and I may have to do that with this one right here. Good idea. So, who doesn't love a hot glue gun <laughs> on a hot rainy afternoon? Gun, moss and and glue smell, we're good to go. That's right. So, I'm you know what? But when you, this is that. this is what pretty much it, right? Yes. I, so I would just say the idea is building the um, the base right. and and then just keep stuffing s uh, things in that you find exactly we're, we're just going to finish them off and at the end of uh, this show we're going to show you what we did but you know now what you do just fill in a nice board any board any size square long have fun with it this. I mean, that this looks this is so simple and this one is not finished yet i'm going to glitz it well, up we're going to glitz more. it up and, and show you at the end yeah, maybe in a bit of sparkle or something like that afterwards Anything like that would be good. Exactly. So we've done two designs here. Now remember, mine is not finished. Yeah, mine is not <laughs> finished either. And you know how we love to give away things here at Botanist Garden Club? Well, today we have a question for you, and that question is, in the state they're in right now, which two of these do you like best? Which one of these two do you like best? Please send your answer to gardenclub at botanist.com. We are going to draw three names out of the barrel, <laughs> yes. and we're going to give each of those people, one person each, one gift card each for $10. So that is three gift cards for $10 each to three different people. Exactly. So and just it, send in which you one you really, like best. You really don't have uh, to decide and in this stage, because we will show you how they look at the end. Oh, that's, that's yeah. right. So you will see the finished product. So I'll have a chance to redeem myself. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this wonderful little nature portrait that you can put on your wall. And it was always a pleasure working always with you. Always pleasure, always, always fun. If we can call this work. <laughs> no, no, no. It's fun. It's art. And it looks gorgeous. It's awesome. Thank yeah. you so much for watching. Please tune in again next week. Until then, bye for now. Okay, bye-bye. Thank you.